There are South Philly cheesesteaks. When you want a cheesesteak, you want to go to South Philly. And if you can't get there, that's okay. We're going to deliver it right to your door. Tony Love Jr. is here. Uh, the man behind you? this magic. Hello, sir. How are you? Good to see you. I am beyond excited. This is what you guys do. You've owned the restaurant since 92. 92, yep. Customer requests coming to your window to get the cheesesteaks. Now you've brought them here to QVC, and for the first time, we are sending you home with not the usual eight, but with 10. And when you want to talk about a cheesesteak, it's a multi-layered experience that you're going to get delivered to your door. It's the first time we've offered a QVC2 big deal from Tony yes. Luke's. It is the only QVC2 big deal from Tony Luke's for the year. And like I said, instead of eight, which is usually $99 and change, you're getting 10 for $99 and change. All we need to know is, What's your preference? I've already started getting orders in my ear from the control room upstairs. <laughs> you can do an, an order of 10 in the 100% ribeye steak. You can do 10 in the 100% chicken breast. Each will come with this fabulous homemade bread. Each will come with real American cheese. And if you're not sure which to do, here's where I'd start. Go to the combo because the combo gets you five of the beef, five of the chicken. No matter what you order though, our QVC2 big deal price is $99.95. Again, normally we offer eight of them for $99.98. That would be $12.49 per sandwich. This is $9.99 per sandwich. Cost you nothing to get it home, but we don't have auto delivery. So I would say if you want to stock up a little bit, these will last for a while in, the, in your freezer. If you've had Tony Luke's before, Call us and share your story. 800 500 7590 to order to share your story. It's 800 600 1556. If you haven't had Tony Luke's, let me do this right now. Order because they're phenomenal. But, but you know, Tony, this is what your family's done. Yes. You started your sandwich place. You didn't have cheesesteaks on the menu we did in Philly. Not. What were what, what happened? We were doing like <laughs> Italian specialties, like okay. chicken cutlets and roast pork. And then people came to the window and were like, how do you not have cheesesteaks? Yeah. So we decided if we were going to do it, we were going to do it the way that we really love doing it, okay. which cooks it very slow, which keeps it very juicy. And how did we get, you know, how, I, I tried to figure out how do I get what we do on the grill mm -hmm. to get it in the roll, to get it in your home. Okay. And I know you love chicken, so I I'm do. giving you the chicken. All uh, right. Okay. I love the beef. If you look at the juice, look at, look, look how that's stripping. Look at, see, you see that? now that's a cheesesteak. And that, you've got a couple of choices. You can go to the store and buy the little pieces of paper that call themselves cheesesteaks. Yeah. You can make it from scratch, which is going to take a long time. Or you can get this delivered. This is the bread that you guys serve in the restaurant, correct? Yes, absolutely. This is the meat. This is the cheese. And then we put mushrooms on because they asked if I like it. I want you to take sure. a look at that. Okay, it's coming on in. This is you chicken and in? mushroom. I'm ready. You ready? All right, here we go. Okay. Let's go. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> Did you hear? Oh. Did you hear the crunch of the bread? Mm -hmm. Did you hear the silence between the two of us? <laughs> My husband and I first had Tony Luke's. I told you this a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. We're out running errands. Went to the restaurant. We sat in silence while we ate. You can't go wrong. It is tender, moist meat. The cheese is the perfect amount of cheese. If you overdo the cheese on a Philly cheesesteak, it takes away from the, the meat yeah. part of it. Perfectly layered. 10 in the 100% ribeye, 10 in the 100% chicken breast, or you can do the mix and the match. M61111. Beef's been popular. But again, if you do the combo, you'll get five of each. But let's talk about ingredients, because this is something like when I eat this, even if I tried, I couldn't replicate that. Let me home. show you this. So this is a ribeye steak. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're using. This is 100% ribeye. And this is our chicken okay. that you were eating. Mm -hmm. The it's trick so is good. getting it to keep its moisture and be juicy. Because you're not just heating it, you're literally baking the bread inside the oven when you get it home. Mm, look at this. Look at how they're doing that. And this is the restaurant. This is all the work that's being done that you get that delivered to your door. So we're seeing the beef right now. Why, why ribeye? Why do you like to do a ribeye? Well, for me, a ribeye is very heavily marbleized. Okay. So it's the fat of the ribeye that gives it the flavor. 
See, <clears throat> people confuse the marbleization for fat. It's Got the it. marbleization in that ribeye. If you look at the ribeye, you could see all of that is the marbleization. Mm -hmm. And that marbleization is flavor. That's where the flavor comes from. So we make sure we use 100% ribeye when we do it. And like you were saying earlier, mm -hmm. listen, I'm going to try to get my mic okay. as close to this Come as on I in. can. Listen to this. That's the crunch. And look at the meat that is in there. That's a lot of meat. I, someone upstairs recommended um, getting the combo and like doubling them up so you have the chicken and the beef in one. Oh. Yeah, see? Uh huh. Oh, oh, oh. We got good eaters around That's these parts, the my friend. That's kind of the surf and turf, uh -huh. except without the surf. So. If you love a cheesesteak, and this is, and honestly, like I was telling you earlier, I'm from North Jersey. Bagels, you go to New York City. Like when my husband and I lived in LA, we found like a bagel spot that imported the water across the country from Brooklyn, transported rather. When you want a cheesesteak, you go to South Philly. And if you can't get there, that's why we're here. We're gonna deliver it to your door. You can do the 10 of the beef, which have been popular. You can do 10 in chicken. If you're not sure, if you've never tried Tony Luke's before, do the combo. You get five of each. They come frozen. You leave them in the freezer and they couldn't be easier to prepare, but get these on the big deal price because our normal QVC price will be $121. This is $99.95, nothing to get at home, and we have it on our best easy payment plan, $16.66 a month. Whether you're looking for something to serve for the big game, whether you you know love to do family movie night and this can be a quick and easy dinner, maybe the kids have basketball and they have wrestling and you're like, I don't have time to always make dinner, how, these could not be easier to prepare. And the great thing is, is they're in your freezer. Mm -hmm. So you take them out when you want them, you thaw them out, you put them in the oven at 375 for 20 minutes. Let's say kids come over. You know, you, 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 you don't have to take any pans out. There's no oil, there's no, no mess. No, you don't, you don't have, have to, to the ruin store. the kitchen. None of those things, it's right there in front of you. And you, you see the size of these sandwiches. You can easily cut them in threes and fours. Mm -hmm. And now you have 20 servings what, oh. just off of five sandwiches. Nessie, and you and I were talking earlier. I, I'm an appetizer girl. I, I, said, I said to Tony, can I take these? Like, I would like to cut them. And then I want you to do like a, a, a topping or dipping bar. A little horseradish sauce. A little uh, like sriracha mayo. Uh, hello. Some hot peppers. Big, big things like do some like flavored ketchup, maybe a little Old Bay in there. This is how you have a good time. Get it, get your beverage of choice. Sit back. Tony Luke's has done the work for you. All you have to do is call us and place your order and six seven one one one. How do they ship home? They come home frozen, right? So we get the the ten. You get ten like this. Okay. So this is what you're getting. Look at all you're getting. Look at this. All the meat. All, of all the bread, all the, meat. all the cheese, but they come wrapped. They come and wrapped, we leave frozen. The wrapper on. Now, when you put them in the oven, this is how simple it is. So here's your chicken and here's your beef. Thank you for labeling them, by the way. Oh, well, I, I, I need every it little for me. bit. Yeah. <laughs> every I, little I bit helps. It. So <laughs> it's as simple as once they're thawed, you take them. Here's how easy it is. Okay. 375 oven. You open up the door, put the steaks in just like this. You don't even need a tray. No, just wait 25 minutes and you will take them out. And what I tell people, if you like a crispy roll, yeah. then as soon as it comes out, when it's warm to the touch, because you don't want to get burnt, when it's warm to the touch, open it, the roll will be nice and crisp on the outside and nice and soft in the middle. But if you're someone who likes a softer roll, mm -hmm. leave it wrapped for an additional three, four minutes. It kind of steams Steams it, it and then the roll gets nice and soft. But you can see right here, you have a crunchy outside, and this inside is so. Look at the cheese. Can, can we just can, hold on? Where's my fork? I just want to. I'm going to do a little. You're doing the keto thing now. Look at that. Look at the cheese. Here's what I've done before in the past. We, we have a, a pizza place near us, and I order their chicken cheesesteak hoagie. I'm a chicken cheesesteak hoagie girl. Oh, oh well, look at that. So um, what's here? Oh. But sometimes I'll dump it out of the bread, but but I've been, I've been under the weather, and I'm getting better, so I'm just going all bread all in. But the place that we get our chicken cheesesteaks from, they're lovely folks, they tend to be a little dry. When I took a bite of that it's and I'm about dry. to take a bite of this, it is so unbelievably tender that it is spectacular. Even the tomato does, there's so much meat the tomato doesn't want to Well, and the, this is the thing. You, we said this is the Picasso for the foodies, right? You're sending us home with the blank slate. You can do the 10 beef, which have been popular, the 10 chicken, yeah, or you can different. combo it up, you get five of each. 
What you're doing today is saving money because instead of $121 or instead of the normal $99.98 that we usually charge for eight, we're doing $99.95. We're getting you home 10. Each one's eight inches. Oh my goodness, you're giving me peppers. You're well, giving me, I'm just going to go open face here, and I'm probably going to. This is why I wore a black sweater, by the way. Just, I was going to wear like a green blouse, and I was like, this is going to go south. You bad. have to get messy. Go for it. Go. She's gone. Ooh, that's a bite. I didn't eat dinner. <laughs> They're so good. Now, here's the thing we do in South Philly a lot. Oh, they're so good. So you take it home, you cut it, mm -hmm. and this is kind of a tradition. You take a cherry pepper. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is normally I wouldn't touch this cherry pepper, but because she's standing next to me, I'm going to poke it a little bit because if not, it's going to pop and mm -hmm. the juice is going to go everywhere. But this is the traditional way to eat it. So I don't care if you're in Texas, you're in Chicago, you're in California, when you get your order, Get some cherry peppers, whole cherry peppers. You take a bite of the sandwich. Then you bite the pepper. This is amazing. Oh my God. I gotta teach my husband that trick. I don't, oh. I don't think he knows that. Jason, oh. if you're watching, I don't think you know this, this trick. Oh. Okay, whether you love that 100% ribeye, 10 of those. If you love the chicken, and I love a chicken cheesesteak because in my brain, I'm like, oh, it's a little bit lighter. It's a, and I don't count the fact that I'm loading it up with other things. A chicken cheesesteak has, this is moist, it's tender. This is the furthest thing from dry, and that's the first thing I noticed when I tried it because I, I've had the dry ones. Combo gives you five of each. What you're doing is it's $9.99 per sandwich, and whether you need that last minute dinner, whether it's going to be for the big game, whether it is going to be, you know what, the kids, you're in charge of like doing the basketball team dinner on a Sunday afternoon or a Sunday night. 20 to 25 minutes in the oven and you're done and then do your toppings mix it up have fun but when you take a bite of these people wait in line around corners in south philly to yeah. eat cheesesteaks legit these are coming to your door ready to go and all the work's done if you want to add more stuff you can but but if you don't it's ready to go it's like anything else if you have the perfect foundation mm -hmm. you're working with a foundation food is creative yeah I mean, the whole, the whole fun of dealing with food is to be creative, to put as many toppings or different toppings. Fusion is big. Add, you mm -hmm. know, different things to a steak. But if you, like they say about a house, if the foundation is good on a home, mm -hmm. you can have, you know, if the foundation is no good, it You're doesn't matter trouble. what you put on top of it. Nope. It's going to go down. So, you know, we give you, a, we give you a foundation. And look, I've said this before. I'm so proud of this product because I order it, I eat it. I yeah. have this in my freezer. And no way would I want to offer the public something that I would not enjoy myself. It's got your family my name name's on, on it. it, right? Absolutely. I, so when, when we tested it and tested it, we got it to a point where it just, oh. Yeah, we, we've got Hello, some friends. Ladies. You tested and tested and I you tested. got it to the point. Ladies, we got <laughs> it got to got a some point hungry where it was here. juicy and it was crunchy, you know, the roll. What would you like? Now you got to get in line. Oh, like we're taking orders. Okay. okay, here, let me get what on can, this side. What of you. can I get you? Some wit. Uh, you want everything's uh, wit. Everything's, everything's wit. wit. You Maria want a Louise, or a beef? I don't want I want the wit. pepper right now. All right, how about regular beef? You yeah, want a beef? Regular beef. Yeah. You want a okay. plain beef? Plain beef. All right, we got to get you a thing. The beef is our most beef. popular, by the way, too. What's Look, the sauce? What you got over there? This is hot sauce. No. You don't want the heat. Plus, you got to try it. Okay. And it's 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 original form. Okay. Do the Bert, chicken. You we want the, the chicken. chicken. Oh, you gosh. want a plain chicken? You want a oh, buffalo spicy chi buffalo oh. chicken? Oh. Oh. You're Brazilian. You love the heat. <laughs> you love the heat. All right. So All right. What, what do you think? Crazy. Right? Oh, yum. The camera guys give me looks like, where's mine? We'll pass, Where, we'll pass where's the Where's my around. sandwich? Where's what my sandwich? What do you guys think? Oh, my it's God. It's like it just came out of the store. It's crazy. It's like you walked into the restaurant and ordered it. This is Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. See that's that's a good you know that's the, it's the flavors mm. of Philly. It, mm -hmm. it brings you it bring, mm. if you can't oh, get to Philadelphia, mm. you the truly can life. feel at right. home mm. that you're there. And it's simple. Mm. There's no mess in the kitchen. Mm. And here's the best part. I happen to love one of my favorite foods in the whole world is pizza. And mm. I thought, how could you make pizza even better? And then I thought, add meat to it. So <laughs> we. we what? We take, fic, picture this, you put it in your oven, the steak comes out, it's done. Here it is. Okay. Then we come over and we take our favorite, now in South Philly we call it red gravy. Everywhere else they call it sauce. No, it, there are fights it, it, like, it like Taylor Hammer pork roll, it's like do you do the sauce or the gravy? 
See, so I like it look all. Look how beautiful. Look, we're gonna.